so this is the actual rocket that is going to propel the intrepid Kansats skywards. But it's still tiny in comparison to the massive rockets that would have taken Aldrin, Armstrong and Collins to the moon. Like any other rocket, it's filled with fuel. And what happens is that fuel is ignited, there's an explosion on the inside and flames shoot out down the bottom and propel the rocket skywards. And my reaction is to get out of here before I become Phil McToast. With everyone well clear of the launch pad, it's time for liftoff. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. What a spectacular launch! Wow! The Kansats are deployed, but will they all find their way back safely? Please work! Please work! Please work! Yay! Yes. Woohoo! That's awesome! Now the recovery mission begins. Wow, how lucky is that? Well, we got it. But sadly, not every can is retrieved. We can't find our Kansats. It's a bit of a bummer. All is not lost though. Luckily, information from the girls' CANSAT was successfully beamed back to Earth. Now all the teams have to present their findings to a panel of space experts. The pressure is on. We have a number of criteria that we're going to use. One is uh, how they work as a team, how they built up a schedule, how they went about designing the project. But for me, most important is the technical content. This includes everything from satellite navigation to monitoring the atmosphere to even tweeting from the CANSAT. It went a lot better than we expected, yeah. I think we have a good chance. I really don't think it went that well at all. We're hoping to win. It's time to announce the winning team. The winners of the Irish CANSAT competition 2015 is... Skullverigan Small. <laughs> so the GPS CANSAT from Cork is victorious. We promised him we'd bring it home. We brought him home. <laughs> so Skullverigan Small from Blarney and Cork are the winners of the National CANSAT Final and will go on to represent Ireland in the European CANSAT Final in Portugal. <laughs>